My name is Bruce Silver and I'd like to spend the next few minutes explaining the value of this course titled Process Modeling with BPMN. When a company gets started in BPM, the one thing people want to learn about most is how to do process modeling. It used to be that every BPM consultant and every modeling tool vendor had its own methodology for process modeling and its own diagramming notation. Now, however, there's a standard, BPMN from OMG. It's supported by many different tools, inexpensive, some of them free. In fact, it has become the one true standard in all of BPM. And it has capabilities that let business at last do what BPM has always promised, use models not simply as business requirements, but as the underpinning of an actual automated implementation. The problem is, few people know how to use BPMN correctly or effectively. That's what we show you how to do in this course. Unlike most of the other BPM Institute courses, this one is two days, hands-on with the software tool. We'll be giving it in Chicago, Washington, San Francisco, and New York. Traditionally, process modeling is relied on proprietary tools and methodologies, raising the cost and limiting shared understanding. Today, BPMN has become, without a doubt, the standard for process modeling particularly when the intent is to follow descriptive modeling with a process implementation. Today, a wide variety of BPM vendors have adopted BPMN, including Lombardi, Savion, Tibco, Appian, Adobe, Oracle, SAP, and Vitria. And vendors who have missed the boat are scrambling to move to BPMN. BPMN has the familiar look and feel of traditional swim lane diagrams, but adds powerful new features like events, that allow exceptions, the hidden cost of real-world business processes, to be modeled explicitly in the diagram, giving business a voice in describing how those exceptions should be handled. Support for events also makes BPMN a better fit to today's SOA implementation architecture than pr traditional process models. This course is designed for business analysts, process analysts, business architects, and BPM solution developers looking to learn how to do business process modeling not only correctly according to the BPMN specification, but effectively, meaning with maximum clarity and usefulness to both business and IT. In addition to explaining the notation in detail, the key patterns of activities, gateways, and events that are used in practice, and the rules for what is allowed and not allowed. The course is also filled with tips and best practices for maximizing expressiveness and clarity in process models whether simple or complex. In addition, we'll show you how to do simulation analysis on BPMN models to estimate the quantitative improvement in going from the as-is to a proposed 2B process in a variety of scenarios. There are many courses on process modeling that focus on some analytical framework like Lean or Six Sigma. We don't do that. You can use BPMN with those frameworks, but what we teach is how to translate process description into a notation that has precise semantics, sufficient to run the model through a simulation engine, and for IT later on to layer its actual implementation. With BPMN, the model is not just a requirements document, it's part of the actual implementation and lets business collaborate directly with IT. BPMN has a public specification, but we provide things you can't get by reading the spec starting with a practical methodology for describing your processes end-to-end, -end, maintaining the integrity of the entire process as a single unit without losing the ability to define detail at any level. Then, how to translate process knowledge into the notation so it is not only correct according to the spec, but clear and meaningful to both business and IT. We simplify the BPMN spec. People sometimes say it's complicated. And it's true, the spec includes stuff you don't need and lets you diagram the same thing multiple ways. We teach you how to standardize unspecific diagram patterns, the ones you really need, and when to use each one. We explain the part of BPMN that's different from traditional flowcharts, the use of events to describe exceptions and coordination with external processes. Some say business analysts can't understand this. It's not that hard, and we'll show you how. You can't really learn this all from a lecture, and the course features hands-on use of a BPMN tool, Process Modeler for Visio from ITP Commerce. It's included in the price of the training. 
You'll use it in class to do numerous exercises and have the option of individualized feeds, feedback on mail-in exercises after class, worth the price by itself. If you're trying to model business processes in your organization, then this course is for you. This is now version 3.0 of the course. Since we launched early in 2007, we've given the training to several hundred students in public classes at the BPM Institute, at private classes, at client facilities, and also online. Based on student feedback, we've adapted the course material, beefing up content and problem areas, cutting back on details of less interest, lots more exercises. Students like the hands-on exercises and the practical disciplined approach. Many students after taking the class have begun large-scale BPMN modeling efforts in their organizations and are in the process of training dozens of practitioners on the approach. Thank you for listening. I should remind you that this course is part of bpminstitute.org's Certificate of Training program. You can visit the website for more details and to register for the course. I look forward to meeting you in an upcoming class.